Hi and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. If you are new and you like makeup, beauty, hair or hauls then please consider subscribing. So today I'm going to be doing another tutorial showing you how I fit my hair extensions. I'm going to be doing taping extensions today with Goo Goo Hair. So this is Goo Goo Hair. They always come presented in these absolutely stunning, almost looking like hat boxes. Really, really nice. I have worked with Goo Goo Hair before a couple of times. I've done tapings with them before and I've also done some clippings as well. I have to say that I really love this company. Uh, I wouldn't have worked with them three times if I didn't. I think their hair is incredible quality, really easy to fit and yeah just the company as a whole as well the customer service absolutely spot on really really lovely company so when you open it up you get all of your goodies inside you get a crocodile clip which is really really handy obviously for fitting your extensions i've got a few of those now which i'm quite grateful for and then we obviously have our taping extensions in here as well i got 200 grams because my hair is quite thick and I find that I need about 200 grams. You normally find that you need between 150 to 200 grams, depending on the thickness of your hair. You also get some spare tapes as well, which is really handy, you know, if you lose one and you need to refit it or anything like that. And there's also a little instruction manual in here as well. So, oops, I've got some tape stuck to it. So that's that one just there. So they do all different colours. They've got a really, really good colour range, actually. I chose, I can't remember the name of the colour. I'll pop it here. Um, but mine's a mixture of three different colours, which is platinum. I believe there's like an ash blonde in there and a slightly darker one as well. So this is the colour that I chose. As you can see, it's got like a balayage. So we've got like darker bits at the root and then going down to just the complete blonde which if I hold it up to my own hair is going to be pretty much a perfect match for me. I have had to tone them, um, which I do with any extensions. I find that I just need to tone them a little bit. So I have already done that. Uh, yeah, because my hair is quite ashy and I just find that sometimes they're not quite ashy enough for me. But obviously with it being human hair, that's very, very easy to do. Right. So as I mentioned, these are human hair. These are 100% human Remy extensions. And as I say, very, very good quality as well. So we're going to go ahead and start fitting them. So before I do my hair extensions, I have to make sure that my hair is properly prepped for them. So I have washed my hair last night. I washed it using only shampoo. I didn't put conditioner on it. So that's why it's a bit dry on the ends at the moment. But I just find that if you use conditioner on them, it can cause the tapes to slip when you first fit them. Obviously, afterwards is absolutely fine as long as you don't put it on the bonds. But yeah, I just find just using shampoo and as I say, I used a toner as well, then that's absolutely, absolutely fine. I didn't use any products on my hair either uh, for the same reason. So all I did was wash it with shampoo and dried it and just left it be. You don't need much for fitting the extensions, which is nice. All you need is some sectioning grips and a hairbrush pretty much. And then obviously your extensions. So the first thing I'm going to do is section my hair. And to do that, I'm just going to go from ear to ear and then take it round to the back. Obviously, you can use a comb if you want to. Um, yeah, I just I just don't. Well, I do normally. I just can't find it. <laughs> so, right, I'm going to clip up this top section out of the way. I do have thick hair, um, but if you have particularly thick hair, then you can do this in two parts. I'm just doing it in the one. Right, so that's my top part out the way. I'm just going to brush through the loose hair like that. So I've got about that much down, which is from there down and then I'm going to work from the bottom so I'm going to start from the nape of my neck and work my way up to where I've got that now parting just there I'll try and flip myself around and show you a couple of bits of me fitting them at the back so I need to go from the nape so I'm going to take the bottom section down here like so so I've got about this much hair and then again, I'm going to twist this and just clip that out the way. 
like that so that I can just concentrate on this bottom section here. So I'm just going to put two pieces here. So starting off with the first one, so this is two pieces or two extensions, I should say, here. So the tapes are just here and then we just need to peel those off so it leaves looking like that. And then I'm just going to take a section, a very, very small section, just like that, of hair and take my first tape like this and just place it underneath like that and then just get rid of any loose bits of hair it is easier to do this with a comb if you have one I will say that but I can't find mine as I say so Right, so you want it so it's quite close, but not too close, if you know what I mean. It doesn't need, you don't want it right up to your scalp. You want a tiny, like a couple of mil, if that, of distance. And then you're going to take your next tape. And then on top of that one, it's quite hard to do it at the back, because obviously you can't see. You want to kind of sandwich the hair in there like that. And then give it a really good firm squeeze. Like that. So that's in there nice and firm. And uh, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to do the same on this side now. There we go. So there's my first row. So obviously it's just two extensions, but there's my first one just there. So the next thing I'm going to do is let down the second row that I need to do. So taking down the hair that I've clipped up. Like that. And then going just above. like that and then I need to do the next row so on this one I'm going to put three so you want to do it like a brick weave so obviously I've got two here so there's going to be one in the middle of those two and then there's going to be one on the two sides just here as well so like that so as I say I'm going to put another two here exactly the same as I have done with the other three and then I'm going to work my way up in a kind of triangle shape until I get to about here which is obviously where I have parted it just there so I'm just going to continue to do that and then I'll come back and show you when I've got that back section in right okay so that's the back now finished I could probably fit a couple more in if I wanted to, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is. I've got that many left out of two packs. So I used just under 100 grams just on the back of my head. And then I've got two 50 gram packs to use on each side now as well. OK, so moving on to the sides now, I'm going to pretty much do the same as what I did on the back with the brick weave effect. So I'm going to start off from I've got quite a lot of short bits they're like broken hairs around the front which I'm trying to grow out so I'm going to start off from my ear or just above my ear just here and then clip that bit up 
I can't stress enough if you've got a, a like a, um, a rat tail comb or something like that then please do use that don't use your fingernails like I am so I'm going to clip this bit up out of the way so you can see I've got a nice line just there that I'm going to work with I'm just going to prepare one piece or well two pieces to make one and then I'm going to start off by taking this section put that out of the way and I'm going to go just behind my ear because I want it to be comfortable and place this piece just there underneath Got loads of little hairs sticking out. Wow, I've got my finger stuck. <laughs> Just there. And then again, remove any excess hair that's kind of stuck just above. And clip that out of the way. Take my top piece and just sandwich that on there and again a good squish ow I thought I broke my nail there <laughs> just like that and that's in again nice and secure with these i forgot to mention before you can use heat on them so if you've got some straighteners or whatever or you know you can get the actual heat clamp things and um, you can clamp them with heat i prefer not to because when it comes to removal they're a lot harder to remove and um, for me it's that's the only reason i don't and i find that they last fine without the heat on them but obviously, you know, you can do that if you want to. So again, I am just going to work my way up from there to about here on both sides. And I'll come back and show you when I've got it all done. OK, so it's all finished. I've got it all in and I managed to get every single piece of that hair in there. So I've got 200 grams in now, 50 on each side and 100 at the back. And yeah, I've just kind of blow dried my fringe as well. Um, but yeah, I think it's really nice, really nice. I'm never disappointed with Goo Goo hair. I'm really not. I think it's beautiful, beautiful hair and really easy to apply as well. So I'll give you a quick look at the front and the back of my hair. So this is how my hair is looking from the front and back. As you can see, it blends in really, really nicely. I'm glad I toned it because the colour just matches absolutely perfectly. I'm so happy with it. But yeah, I think it looks really nice. So as always, the products used in today's video, I will link in the description box below for you, along with any discount codes as well. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and I'd really appreciate it. It'd mean the absolute world to me if you did enjoy watching this video and you'd like to see more content from me in the future and you would like to subscribe to my channel. Until then, thanks for watching. Bye. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me. Wrapped up nice and neat, baby.